to tool time. It's Tuesday. <laughs> and hopefully you are having a good one. Um, tonight we are going to be playing with some very fun tools. And um, before I get started, I'll go through some announcements real quick. Hey, Carla. And um, and give you a chance to hop on and like this live and then um, also comment, say hello, so that um, you get entered to win $10 in CM credits. So um, let's see, first up, like as I just said, there will be an in the feed drawing tonight. So you do need to be present to win. So hang out, settle in and um, either scrap along or just uh, hang out and watch and hopefully you'll learn something um, tonight on Tool Time. So Croptoberfest is in full swing. I've got my little page a day challenge here. So you don't have to com complete a page every day. They're, they're just all due by the end of the month. So there's still time if you wanna hop in and join up at the top of this little graphic, um, you can choose paper, digital card, and or if you're an advisor on my team, you can choose an advisor package. And that gains you access to those blue items at the top. So that's the page a day challenge. And so one person is gonna win a $100 gift certificate. Um, so, I mean, so the more pages you get done through the month, the more entries you'll have toward that. And we already had a Zoom crop. Um, we have a going, going, gone gazebo on Thursday. And for those of you that know what that is, um, oh, that's great, Kathleen. Well, welcome. I'm so glad that you made it um, <laughs> onto Facebook tonight. So you are now entered to win $10 in CM credit. So, so welcome. Oh, I will not be singing for you tonight, but I am going to do a concert page. Um, so back to Croptoberfest. <laughs> so if you register for, um, one of those, um, items at the top, then you can participate in the going, going, gone sale tomorrow. Now that will be, or not tomorrow, Thursday. Now that will be in the closed Croptoberfest private group. And, um, what will be for sale in there are items that are no longer available on the Creative Memories website. So this is stuff that's limited edition, hard to find, exclusive, those type of items. Um, so if you registered for a paper digital card um, kit, Crop Toberfest kit, it's $35, then that you also you get the kit, but then you also gain access to that. And then a Zoom crop on, on the 20th from six to nine. And then also trick or treat at on Zoom on the 31st. So what's better than scrapbooking trick or treat? So at 8 p.m., you'll ding dong into Zoom and then you'll pick a number and that will correspond to a prize. And I just thought that would be fun. So that's um, so that's so those are just some other reasons to sign up for Croptoberfest. It's only the 10th. There's still 20 days left in the month for you to complete pages in the challenge and do all the rest of the fun stuff. I do have um, three more spots left for my Croptoberfest at Westminster by the Sea. Now that's October 20th and 21st, um, Beachside in Daytona. So I do have one full table left and a couple half tables left right now. And so Friday is one to nine and that includes dinner. And Saturday is nine to five and that includes lunch. And chicken chili, Tara's famous chicken chili will be had. So it's great. Then there's some other fun activities that we're going to get to. Laptop crop in Ormond at Why Not West and mini card class. But Techie Tuesday is next Tuesday. It's a noontime show. So have your lunch with me. I'm going to be going over three different digital programs so that you can determine which one is the right one for you if you're interested in digital. So those of you that are just in the info gathering stage, um, then you'll want to tune in or just watch the replay because it'll be on Facebook later that night, or you can watch it on YouTube anytime. All right. So I just talked about this October 20th and 21st. That's at Westminster by the sea. But if you don't live close and you're part of Croptoberfest, um, then there'll be a zoom crop from six to nine on Friday. 
So I feel like that's going to be a kind of a quiet, <laughs> quiet part of the crop that I can um, be on there with Zoom and be in the room. So that's what's going on then. All right. And then in two weeks, we've got Lori and my special guest on Let's Talk About It. So this is um, where I interview people, scrappy ladies, just like you. And you'll get to hear about how they get things done, what their scrappy process is. And um, so Lori works full time uh, for the school district in, in Maryland. And um, she... Uh, does a lot of scrapbooking. So you're going to, and I've known Lori for, I don't know, oh, 20 years, a long time. Um, but she's never lived in Port Orange or close, but she has come down for the scrapbooking cruises and retreat to the mountains. And she will be Volano. No, she will be at Epworth at the end of January. So I know many of you have met her and usually she's on here. Um, Scrappy Happy Hours is Thursday, October 26th. It's $15. That includes some snacks and also a gift certificate to the digital company of your choice. So Creative Memories, Y Photo, or Forever. Those are the three that I rep. Hey, 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 everyone. Thanks for popping in. Um, then there's a mini card class at Why Not West on the 30th. So that's also $15. It also includes some snacks and all the supplies needed to make your three fall themed cards. You actually get to choose between Halloween or like uh, the Croptoberfest cards. Not these ones. These are the October card uh, kit cards. <laughs> so if you're on subscription, this is what we're going to be doing on Halloween. And if you are busy, then of course you can watch um, after and put them together after. But I will be working on uh, cutting everything for these card kits in the next week or so and shipping them out to all of you on subscription. But you can get it if you're not on subscription. You can just go to DaytonaAreaScrapbooking.com and then you'll go to October 31st. You'll click on um, that and it'll take you to my shop and you can purchase it. So the one-off card kit is $30. That includes shipping, so free shipping. And then um, if you're on subscription, they're 25 a month. You can cancel at any time. All right. And many thanks for subscribing to my YouTube channel. Kathleen uh, found me on YouTube and she's on here tonight. So welcome again, Kathleen. So nice to have you with us. And then as a reminder, those of you that I've already said hi, you're already entered. But those of you that maybe are watching and haven't commented yet, you'll want to comment so that you are entered into um, the drawing tonight. So the little bots working in the background, picking up on your comments and your likes and entering you accordingly. So, so thanks so much. And I do have a special drawing for those of you that are already registered for Croptoberfest. Um, I gave a couple of these away at the Crop for Grain Gold, the cute little owl. Um, so I'm going to give one of those away and everybody that's already registered for Croptoberfest will be in that drawing. And then I thought you'd be able to see my shirt, but you can't, but <laughs> see my shirt. All I need is pretty paper and my scrappy friends. That is the Croptoberfest shirt that I made. Um, I'm not sh they might, I might've taken them off the website, but I do have two extra larges left and one three X left. If anyone is interested in that, you can just comment below and I'll reach out to you. Um, or you can message me or text me or reach me. However it is that you reach me. <laughs> ah, I almost lost my mouse dongle. It was sitting on top of the papers. All right. Don't lose that, Tara. Please, please, please. Okay. So tonight, let me switch cameras so that you can see what we are going to be playing with here. Okay, so tonight we are gonna be playing with one of the new um, custom cutting system guides. This is the jumbo square frame pattern. But I also see this cute little box, Creative Memories. This was part of a promo like a month or so ago and it's this cute little box to hold your custom cutting system blades. So I've been 
uh, scrapbooking with creative memory since um, oh, 2000, 1999. And um, this is, I finally have a little holder <laughs> for my blades. So I have an extra one of these and I'm going to do a little promo tonight. So I'm going to show a lot of the different components of the custom cutting system. Um, all the patterns are 16, the mat is 15, and the blades are 750. So um, if you get, if you purchase uh, either the set, the the set of three blades, so that's 2250 for the set of three. Um, the set of, and they don't come in this little container, but the set of three blades. They do come in a little box. I, I, so I guess I have had something to put them in. <laughs> this is way cuter. Um, so um, if you purchase the three blades, like upgrade your blades, uh, get a new mat or any of the templates, not just the templates I showed tonight, you'll be entered to win um, this. And you can order directly through me or you can order on the my Creative Memories website. And um, from now until through next Monday, and um, so I'll do the announcement of the winner next Tuesday. Hopefully that makes sense. I will post something <laughs> so um, so that you will remember. But anyway, hopefully you're going to see something tonight that you just love and you have to have. And, um, and you will, or either that, or maybe you already have some of these and you'll just re-fall in love with them. That's why I use the custom cutting system this summer um, at my uh, scrap of Palooza because, you know, people forget, you forget, you get in like a rut. I do. I don't say, I say you, but I'm just speaking about myself. I get into a rut. I use the same tools over and over again. And you forget that you have this lifetime of tools, 20 years of tools. Um, and so it's fun to kind of force yourself to, um, to do something different. So this is the page we're going to make tonight, and this is from the Creative Memories blog. Now, if you've never been out to the Creative Memories blog, the Creative Memories blog, kind of like with the Project Recipes, will give directions on how to complete a page. So if you um, just scroll back, not even that far. Um, well, this one says something about September 15th. So somewhere in September, you'll you'll see you'll see this graphic, and it has the directions. Um, so I haven't even, the plastic is still on. I have not played with this new template. So this is brand new, but they also brought back, Creative Memories did, this old one. And you see how they're reversed. So this was from 2010. So um, from 2010, this one came out. And so the, that's how long I've had this one. And now they've got the reverse of them. And... So we're going to have some fun with the old one, but I made pages earlier today. I mean, we're going to have fun with the new one. I made pages with the old one. Well, Carla, you'll just have to tell me what you, what new templates you need and you'll be entered to win. I'm going to give one away. All right. So let's take this plastic off. Now, when you purchase the patterns from Creative Memories, they come with this little guide. And I'm just going to talk about it briefly. I'm going to leave it on this white. I, that really doesn't help because it has all this caution, do not cut junk on it. Okay. But if I hold it up close, you can see that there's a blue line, a green line, and a red dotted line. Now those lines correspond to the three colors of the blades. And then you see here, you've got red, um, green, and blue. Now the red always cuts closest to the template. So I know it's hard to see, but the template is this black line. And so the red cuts closest to the template. The green or the blue cuts furthest from the template, about a half an inch from the template. And the green is in between. So that's how you remember. So if you cut one piece of paper with the red and another piece of paper with the green, now it's matted. And that's, this is true of all the templates. So you might, if you've been doing creative, you know, working with Creative Memories products for a long, long time, you probably have, where are mine? 
they're somewhere around here. You probably have circles or ovals because they came with like the bundle that everyone got to get started when we first started with Creative Memories. So you have the circles. So with three blades on the outside, on the inside, that's 18 different circles with just this one set. Now what came out sort of recently in the last, I don't know, five years or so are rectangles. So if you're a fan of like the corner rounder, but you don't want to take the time to corner round, you can just do these rectangles that have like these little rounded edges. And so that comes with three. And then of course the, ov uh, the ovals, they come with four different templates. So I would say those are the most popular, but there's more online. There's a jumbo circle that I've um, showed before on a tool time. There's um, the gemstones. And I feel like that was a bring back um, the gems. So there's like one with a heart and like an Easter egg and a triangle and different things. Let's see if I can go up a little bit without totally messing up things. I think we got a little good. That's where some, sometimes, you know, you try to make things better. That isn't always the case. Okay. So we're going to get started. Now, I looked ahead at the directions. I'm kind of going off script. So I don't think, since you didn't really know what we were doing, I mean, you did, but you didn't know we were gonna be working from the blog. I don't think I'm gonna mess anyone up and hopefully you'll you'll learn, you know, something, I don't know. <laughs> so you'll learn uh, to, I don't know, think out of the box. So when I'm looking here, I see four layers. So there's four different colors of paper. And so one is a background piece. And then the next level is just this cut on the outside. And then this interior piece are these pieces. And one is one is larger than the other. Okay. So, but I'm thinking, what if I found two pieces of paper that I like both sides on? And I realize not all, you know, both sides don't necessarily always work. But in this case, I did find two pieces of paper where the front and the back work for me. So I can cut, I can kind of alternate them. I've got red and blue going on. So I can alternate them, red and blue, and I can pick one as my background, cut one this way. I can cut these inside pieces out of these pieces, but they're gonna cover over each other. So that instead of using four pieces for this, we're going to use um, two pieces. And so it's that way it's not also like um, four pieces thick in the mid um, in the middle. It'll just be some edges. You'll see as we go. On. OK, so the first thing I'm going to do. Is because this is going to be my back layer. So this is going to be the back and it's also going to be this, um, this, this larger of the outside piece. So this is what the back looks like. And I think I'm going to actually, you know, I don't need to cut it with whatever side up, but I think I'm going to have it be like this. So you'll just, I'll just see these little blue streaks here on that. Now I need this inside piece to be the biggest possible. All right. So class, what, what blade <laughs> cuts closest to the template? I know. Aren't they great, Lori? Um, I love these in particular, this one and the old one, the throwback one, because you'll see just how easy it is to make a page. Um, just because it, it gives you these fun little layers. All right. So in order to cut closest to the template, which is going to give me the biggest interior piece, I'm going with red. Now there's little grippy um, guys on the back. You can kind of make it out right here with the light. They're not terribly grippy. They're not sticky at all, but that's to help so that you don't, 
like woo, slide off your paper. So you can start anywhere on the template, but you, the, the biggest thing to make sure is that both of these prongs are in the little tra track. It's like a little grooves that go in the little train track. If you don't, and we've all heard it before because we've all made this mistake if we own this tool, if you don't put both of them in, then it makes a terrible scratching noise and destroys your paper as it goes around because it drags the blade instead of um, it cutting. So you just want to make sure it's in. Now, if you have very old blades, your blades do not spin like this. And it is really nice when they do. Well, hey, everyone. Thanks for hopping in. All right. So now it's time to cut. And when they're a little bumpy like this, you want to kind of move with the template as you go around so that you can keep it nice and firm. And we're almost done. You'll hear it kind of release when you when you start to cut over like the paper will you'll either hear it because it'll stop cutting kind of like when you're cutting um a can you know how like that it makes a sound like you know you know or and it feels different when you hit it okay so let's say you just wanted to do this i mean like this isn't um <laughs> with a different piece of paper maybe this doesn't go all of this is a cool look too um so again sometimes the front and the back don't go together of a page but just that like wow all i did was go around this thing one time and now i have a totally different look but remember what we're going to do is i'm going to cut where these sunflowers are out of this paper and i'm going to cut this perp where the purple is out of this paper and use the other side and so i'm going to get all four of these paper looks out of two sheets. So I'm done with this sheet for now. I can put that aside because that one just has the square edges. Now I have to decide and I think I want, again, it doesn't matter, Tara. Hello, you flip the paper over. I love when I just overthink things. Okay, well, so this one we have to do two things to. We have to um, cut around the outside. Now, it's fun. Another fun thing you can do with this is if you try to get it in the center as much as possible, then what you're not going to use on this page, you can use on another page. So I'm going to make this as big as possible. So I'm just going to have like a half inch. I want to cut as close, I'm sorry, not as big as possible, but as close um, to the template as possible. So I'm going to go around. I'm just going to kind of walk my hands around as I go. If you have a really old mat, your mat is 10 by 12. It doesn't even fit the 12 by 12 paper. So then you need to gift yourself a new one of those for sure. Okay, so here we go. Now I'm not gonna use this on this on the page I'm working on right now, but I can save it because this is a great just little frame to put on a page at a later date. Um, the challenge will be to keep up with it, right? <laughs> it's not your typical scrap. Sorry, my tool time is kind of in the way here. I keep trying to move up a little bit. And then I go crooked. Okay, maybe that's better. All right, so now I've got a cut on the inside. Well, I don't want to use the red blade because that's what I use to make this. I need to go smaller, so I need to use the blade that cuts furthest from the template, and that is the blue. 
So that's going to give me about a half an inch. And it doesn't matter if this is even on right. I mean, you don't want it to be way over um, because we're going to layer all these on top of each other. So it doesn't have to be perfect in the middle. But what's nice about this is that little corn, this little piece is the only leftover we're going to have because, because we're flipping these and layering them, um, we're going to use everything. So these little wiggly ones, um, you know, they're not a circle or oval, that's for sure. But almost there. Okay. All right. So now just let's flip this one over. So even that is a really cool look. Hey, Susan. All right, so now this is for the exciting part because we're going to layer them every other to get that same look. But instead of using the four sheets of paper, we're going to just layer them like this. So it, it's just going it, to, it's just enough, like, a, you know, it, it overhangs just enough that we can it, use adhesive. Oh, I'm going to use this side. Okay, how cool is that? So that's the, the look of this page with the four different sheets of paper, just like that. Now, I kind of wish it was more blue um, than, than this, and I really can't do anything about that now. But that's okay because sometimes things look a lot like brighter than you want them to be. Um, but but we haven't even put pictures on yet. <laughs> but like this picture is very red. So in my head, it was gonna be um it was gonna be more. Oh wait, this is going like this. And then this one I'm gonna trim to fit. Now, what I'd like to do is use the um, music note border punch. It just kind of hit me that I wanted to do that, but that is across the room. I don't know if I can get to it quick enough. So let me go ahead and attach all this first. Let's get this down. And so what do you think? Are you a fan of the um, the custom cutting system template, the new one? I definitely am. Oh. Um, I have no idea why I keep flipping that around. It really, I don't think it matters. Okay. Yes, Lori. Thank you. All right. Now this is pretty thin. I'm going to go right on the edges here. This would be a good, do I have a mini over here? Oh, I do. This is a good job for a mini tape runner because it's so thin and I don't have a lot of wiggle room. Yes, you can, Kathy. <laughs> well, not this one. This would be a little too bumpy for the border maker. But the circle that you got over the summer, most definitely. All right. 
So the red paper was from the Totally Tonal Reds. And um, this other paper was from some advisor paper pack. I didn't go close enough to the edge on here. So it's like my adhesive didn't even, didn't even touch. Okay. All right, so what that did was definitely cut down on all the layers, the thickness for sure. All right, now it would be helpful if I had the directions, which I do um somewhere this one i just wanted to look at what the photos were so the photos are three and a half by three and a half and three and a half by five and a half just so i can get those dimensions correct oh okay so three and a half by five and a half so this is not the band i saw four times last week but this is their opening act and um, they the, these pictures are actually from um, Dublin. We saw them in Dublin, and um, the same they had the same opening act in Dublin. And we were front row in Dublin, so. Oh, maybe, yeah, that's easy to do, Kathleen, honestly, because people get so nervous that it's going to slip, um, and so then you, ha you have to, like, find that sweet spot where you can, where you can move it around. So it's always a good day at a concert when you can see the set list, um, and it's upside down. <laughs> but when you're that close that you can see the set list that the band is using, I feel like that's a good day. Okay, so this is very, um, this is very red. And this is going to be going in my Ireland album, which is very green, um, as you can imagine. <laughs> so, um, but these concert pages in my Ireland book because there's going to be, there's only going to be this one page of beers, but there's going to be many pages of Blue October, which some of you know <laughs> is my favorite band. Okay. All right. So, except, for, oh wait, oh, where did that, what happened to it? Hold please. I knew that I did something else. Okay, so I printed their logo on cardstock. And now I'll find the perfect circle template to cut that. So the red is going to cut closest to the template. So I think I'm going to go with the green because... I don't want too much white around the edge, but I don't want to cut off that black line either. So I'm going to go with the green is in between. I'm going to get it lined up there. And I can see that it's not going to cut. It's going to be right on the edge. So hopefully it's not perfect. But you know what they say. You know what I say done is better than perfect so it is not perfectly centered but it is good enough and then i have got this too that i printed so when i drove home from tampa on thursday night i was by myself from the hard rock so i didn't get home till about 1 15 in the morning and because I listened to Blue October so, so much, you know, when you're like so familiar with things sometimes, even though it's, it's you know, not like, you know, classical music, you could, you know, drift, not drift off, but just, you know, I need to stay awake. 
Um, oh, Lori. Yes. Yeah, so I'm having a little promo. Creative Memories had a promo for these and I have an extra one. So anyone that purchases either in the comments, if you want to purchase any, any templates, circles, ovals, the new one, um, or if you place an order on my website and it has any of the custom cutting system components, uh, you'll be entered to win um, this little box. So this was a promo that Creative Memories had about a month or so ago. And it is so adorable, isn't it? Keeps your little, um, keeps your blades all together. So anyway, I listened to Veers the whole way home from Tampa. And they're pretty awesome. And so I thanked them the last night of, the, of that I saw them on Saturday. I said, thank you for helping me get home from Tampa. Um, I couldn't have done it without you. And they were so sweet. And they took a picture with me. And Brendan. He was thankful too. So I'm going to do like this. And I can cover a little bit of the set list there. But it's funny because... I was like, oh, did they um, play any of these songs this time? They only played two of the songs um, on this tour this time. So anyway, so there's my Veers page. Rock on. All right. So I love it. I love it. I'm a fan. Now, a little sneak peek for those of you doing the page a day challenge in um, Croptoberfest. This is number 11. So if you can, you know, you can get creative and do something else. You can do, um, you know, um, the border maker, a border maker around the edges. But if you want um, either the old, the, this one, which is on the floor. If you want this one, um, which is what was used here, or if you want the new one, um, you can let me know and I will get that to you. And you still have plenty of time to do sketch number 11 by the 31st. All right, so now let me show you what I did earlier today using the old one. The one from 10 years ago, which they just brought back. So I did this one from the blog. So you can see here, what it's kind of hard on this brown background that they photographed it on, but there's a piece, you'll see it better on mine. And then they use the template, but then they cut it three inches in and split it up and down. And it has a really cool effect. So that's what I did for the Hill of Terra when we went to Ireland. So this is really, like our first stop from the airport. And so Brendan looks exhausted. So I still have to journal all that. He like, can, he's using his eyebrows to keep his eyes open. You know, he's just like lifting his eyebrows up so high because he cannot keep his eyes open. So we had a really nice breakfast there. But with this one, when you go around the outside, you end up with something similar to this, but, but it has all these little wavies. And I was just, I was going to do two of these pages because it was like a two page spread, but I decided instead to use this outside part. So the kind of effect, <laughs> move some of this stuff out of the way. With those wavy edges, so that kind of carries um, over, but I liked it because they were two separate things. They both take place on the Hill of Terra and literally on the Hill of Terra, there's this little restaurant and then like the, like St. Patrick and the other Hill of Terra stuff, like the hill and the church, that's it. So they kind of are separate things. Like we had breakfast cause we were starving and we just gotten off the red eye and then we walked around. And, um, and saw St. Patrick holding his little shamrock. And of course there are shamrocks all around. So this is just the outside from here. And I turned it into a two page spread. So again, this one is on the blog. 
And I did do those directions as is for this page. I just used that scrap over here. So three, three pages. Now, sadly, none of them count for the Croptoberfest challenge. <laughs> I was not thinking. Oh, but you know what I didn't put in the announcements, which is kind of important, is that um, there is a virtual crop happening this weekend, Creative Memories, in the virtual crop group. And I can switch my camera now. You don't have to um, look at directions and pages anymore and we can do our drawing and what time is it oh we're early let me switch over oh. <laughs> always always disheveled at the end of a, a live um so yeah there's a virtual crop going on whoops and those of you that are in croptoberfest those sketches will will be um your assignments basically so then you can double dip you can upload them to the creative memories virtual crop group and you can post them um oh for me because they're not the sketches <laughs> i mean uh because i they they weren't the they weren't i'll have to do another one that's this one although this one kind of looks like it but i got i got some catching up to do um, this weekend. And I guess what, we're supposed to get a bunch of rain. So maybe that's a good weekend to do that. Although I do have some, I was, you know, messing around all over Florida last week. So I do have some work to do anyway. <laughs> hopefully everyone that's watching commented. If you didn't go ahead and comment right now and say, Hey, and I saw as I was working, lots of people jumped on and said hi, and that's great. So that the little bot got you and um, entered you to win. Does anyone have any questions for me? Questions about the promo for this? If you um, order from me or my website any, you know, components of the custom cutting system, then you're entered to win that. Maybe, how about we just hop over there for one second since we're, I happen to have it up because I was on here before just to make sure. So we've got our blades and then this is the bring back from 2010, the jumbo wavy square. And then this is the new one, the jumbo square frame. And the page we just made is what's what pops up when you float over it. Then this, here's the gemstone one. So that one has, in the middle of the heart, is like an egg shape. And then you've got the hexagon, a heart, and then diamonds, uh, two, two hearts, big heart, little heart. That, so that's a really great set. And then you've got the rectangles that I mentioned, the jumbo circle, and I've done tool times. And Kathy mentioned about using the border maker system around that and border punches. And that is such a great effect. I did, um, I don't know, it was earlier in the year, maybe April. Um, I did it. I showed it the, on tool time with the C star around. And then, of course, we've got the circles and ovals and then the mat. So if you still have that old 10 by 12 mat, you need to treat yourself. Although that's showing it with the circles. So it's not 50 through 50. Yeah, here it is, 15. So that's it. So hopefully um, you found something you liked or saw something you liked and um, let me know if I can help you with anything. And hopefully you had fun watching tonight. All right, let's give something away, shall we? How about we give away uh, $10 in CM credits and don't hop off because, um, if, especially if you're registered for Croptoberfest, because I am going to give something away to somebody registered to Croptoberfest. Okay. Let's see who our winner is. Susan, congratulations, Susan. I will put $10 in CM credits into your account as soon 
as I get off here, as long as she's still on, I'm writing it down. Are you still on, Susan? Hopefully she's still on. I know there's a delay, so sometimes, yay, yay you, Susan, congratulations. All right, and then, let's see. Now I've got everybody registered for Croptoberfest in here. And let's see. Jacqueline, are you on here? I don't know. Did I see her earlier? I don't see her comment, so I do not think she's on here. I, I, I can't go through and just put everybody that I see, which would be faster. Oh, Debbie, I don't see Debbie Keith on here. <laughs> Three hours later. I, oh, where's the camera? Deb H, Deb H is on here. Is she still on here? All right, well, I will send this pouch to Deb. Yay! I know you already have one, but now you have two. And they are food safe, so you can put snacks in them. Isn't that fun? <laughs> all right. Well, congratulations, Deb and Susan. And thank you all for hanging out and watching tonight and watching Tool Time. Hopefully uh, you learned something, enjoyed yourself. And um, those of you that are in Croptoberfest on the virtual in the private group, then don't forget we have um, the Going Going Gone sale on Thursday. Okay, I will, Deb. All right, and if anyone want, needs a owl, um, owl I need is my... Uh, uh, pretty paper and scrappy friends. Let me know. I have three shirts left of those. And until I see you again, stay scrappy, my friends. Bye-bye.